number four, number no number seven came too. Ooh, do you want to join in too? It's really fun. You just have to do the songs that the number gnomes do, like this one. And when number gnome number two and number gnome number four... It's really easy. You just have to add up the number gnomes as you go. When to play with number gnome number two and number gnome number six... Number gnome number... <laughs> I'll help you. Number no number 14 came too. <laughs> oh, I love this program. I'm not changing the channel, Henry. I know. What did you say? I said I know. I'm quite happy to watch number gnomes. I love number gnomes. Time for bed, boys. But we're watching number gnomes. Oh, right then. Five more minutes. When number gnome number two went to play with number gnome number two, number gnome number four came too. Too easy. <laughs> Even I know that two plus two is four. What are you doing, Henry? Time for the number gnomes to go to bed. I've got my comic to read. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I haven't. I left it in the kitchen. <laughs> Essential prop, this is. Where are you going, Henry? To get a glass of water. All right, then, but be quick. I will. <laughs> Could say that. Anything I could do to help, Dad? Not really, unless you like counting toothbrushes. Well, maybe the number gnomes can help. Henry, what are you doing out of bed? Came down for a glass of water. What are you doing out of bed? Came down for a glass of. Oh, are you playing number gnomes? Not exactly. Number 365. And I'm number gnome 2799. Which means I'm number gnome number. Uh... Which means you're number gnome number 3164. <clears throat> yes, thank you, Peter. And none of us like brushing our teeth with tingly toothbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, bed. We're counting toothbrushes. What do you mean, we? Peter? <sighs> bed, now. I said bed, now. Penny yeah. for them, Henry. Penny for what? What are you thinking, Henry? I can hear your brain working. Oh, I'm thinking about working hard. You feeling all right, Henry? No, oh, not me, my dad. Your dad's thinking about working hard. Not thinking about it. He is working hard. Too hard, I reckon. Is he still watching Boodle Poodles? Don't think he's got time for that. <sighs> if you haven't even got time to watch your favourite TV show, then something's got to change. Hey! Show! Something wrong, Slug Snot. Yeah, you, Snot for Brains. Ah, write me a letter, Worm Breath, so I can file it under Beetle Brain. I can see you, Henry. Go on, then. Quickly now. Hello, Henry. Glass of water time again? Yep. More paperwork. Yep. More toothbrushes, too. Seems people can't get enough of tingly toothbrushes. 
Which is a good thing. But a bad thing, too, cos it means even more work for you. That's right, Henry. Still mustn't complain. Didn't think the number gnomes can help me this time, Henry. Dear Mr Bob, please could you make sure that my dad doesn't have too much work to do? It's not a good thing for him to have too much work to do, and it's not a good thing for you either, because he won't be able to keep up with counting the toothbrushes. Signed, a well-wisher. P.S. He likes Boodle Poodles. In fact, yeah. he really loves them, and he says he can't even find time to watch them nowadays. That's a bad thing. Yeah, I know. Boodle Poodles. Just as well I haven't inherited my dad's bad taste in TV shows. To Bossy Bob. Oops, better not call him that. To Mr Bob, boss of Tingly Toothbrushes, somewhere near Ashton, the world, the universe. What comes after the universe? Good question, that. But maybe not one we can answer right now. Let's hope this does the trick. Good night, Peter. Henry. And so, if you've ever wondered why Dick's piece looks broadly the same on all sides of the sky, it may have something to do with the waves of gravitational energy which... Even greater impact on the cosmic microwave background. And may indeed contribute to the theory of everything. The theory of everything? Does that even exist? So, if you've ever wondered what comes after the universe... <sighs> Enter! Please, miss. Miss Oddbod wants Henry to go to her office now because there's a limousine come to take him away. Typical. Just when you're about to learn something interesting, along comes a limousine. As I was saying, the universe can wait because this is really, really cool. A giveaway. Do you know what I like most about your letter, Henry? Uh, no. It showed spirit. Where others might have been faint-hearted, you were brave. Where others might have told lies, you told the truth. Uh, right. I have a son, Henry. Yes, I know. We've uh, met. <laughs> and I would hope that my son would do for his father what you have done for yours. You what? I mean, uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> and do I understand that you're a Boodle Poodles fan too, eh? Well, I, uh... I love the show. So does Bill. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Right. Well, I probably ought to get back to school now. Yeah, of course, Henry. All those things you've got to learn so that one day you'll be clever enough to work for me, just like your dad, eh? Will my dad... Get to keep his job? Well, yes. Tomorrow is another day, son. I'll take that as a yes, then. <laughs> Dad, there's a letter for you. Ready for a bit of me time? Ah, Henry. Ready for a bit of us time? Well, yes, but... No buts, Henry. We're going to spend some quality time together. Watching...
Boodle Poodle. Come on, Henry. Boodle Poodle with me. All right. Fine, thank you, Mum. Just wanted to get into school early. You sure you're feeling all right, Henry? Bye, Mum! <laughs> Bet you're wondering if I'm feeling all right too. Well, the answer's yes, because today is the last day of term, which means no more school for weeks and weeks and weeks. that for a while. Yeah, cos it's... Holiday time! Come on, you horrible lot. Get a move on. Thank you, kind sir. What did you say? Uh, well, I said thank you, kind sir. Right. That's it, you worried boy. <laughs> Detention! Now, now, Mr Soggington, let's not get too enthusiastic. It's the last day of term, remember? Oh. Yes, Miss Odd I was, um, forgetting myself. Oh, run along, Henry. We'll defer your detention to next term, if anybody remembers it. Yes, Miss Odd I don't know about you, but I've got the feeling that today's going to be a good day. <laughs> I think we could do better than that. It is a special day today, after all. They won't keep till next term, whatever you say. <laughs> Thank you, Graham's mum. You're welcome, Henry. Going somewhere nice for your holidays. Oh, yeah. Well, my mum hasn't actually booked anything yet, but that's nice, dear. Best day ever! <laughs> this battle axe was positively cheerful in lessons this morning. <laughs> for their holidays. I don't know. Somewhere with no spiders. Or where the other creepy crawlies. Sports camp. Executive chef course. Fifty winning ways with a carrot. As far away from here as possible. Yeah, me too. At least I hope it will be. I'm thinking desert island, sun, sea, sand, and the world in his proper place. Yeah, and no teachers. <laughs> Thanks, Ralph. <coughs> Sorry, Henry. Mm, that's okay. Nothing can spoil today, cos it's. Holiday <laughs> time! <laughs> Oops, won't be needing that for a while. Guess what, Henry? It's holiday time! And? And we're going to a desert island? Nope. Mum says it's much more exciting than a desert island. <laughs> Let's go find out. Oh, it's holiday time! <laughs> what do you mean we're going on holiday next door? Well, just that, really. Margaret's mum mentioned that they were going away. Yeah, to a desert island, most likely. Don't be horrid, Henry. How is that horrid? Going on holiday to a desert island is about the most unhorrid thing I can think of. You know what Mum meant. So when she said they were looking for someone to house sit, we volunteered to do it. That's horrid. Well, I think it sounds like fun. Do you, Honey Bun? Yes. We can pack up our suitcases and we can lock up the front door and check all the windows at least three times and then we can walk down the garden path and then we can come back again to check all the windows are locked and then... Yes, all right, Peter, we get the message. The best thing is Fluffy Wuffy can come with us! Yeah, meow. And we won't have to send her to the Comfy Cat Spa. <laughs> So, it's all sorted then. We're off on holiday tomorrow. Yippee! Yay! Don't, Don't be, be horrid, horrid, Henry! Henry.
All packed, Henry? I guess so. Good. Because we're leaving nice and early to avoid the traffic. But we're only going next door. We can leave any time we like. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. As you can see, I pack for every occasion. Not. At least there's one good thing about going on holiday next door. You can always come back if you've forgotten something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can come with us, Fang! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if Smelly Cat's coming, then you are too. Oh, well, tomorrow's another day, as they say. Will you all hurry up? We're going to be late. All the more reason to get going. Henry! Let me help you with that. Ooh. I see you haven't packed all your belongings. No. Come on then, let's get loading. Back in a roly bow. Fan would never forgive me if I didn't bring his favourite snack. It's holiday time! We do first. How about I make us a nice cup of tea while you start unpacking? What a good idea. Yay. Right, Peter, you're in the guest suite. Yippee! Come on, number no, number 22. Let's go and look at our bedroom. Henry, you're in Margaret's bedroom. What? Why do I have to sleep in Bogey Brain's bedroom? Because, Henry. Why can't the worms sleep there? He even likes pink. Sorry, Henry. It specifically says here that you want to sleep in Margaret's bedroom. So? It's not like it's some sort of contract, is it? Actually, yes, Henry. It is a contract. What? Yes, Henry. It's always a good idea to have a contract for this sort of thing, just in case anything goes wrong. But, but what else is in the contract? <clears throat> no feet on the sofa, living room carpet or walls. No takeaways. What even pizza? Nope. What's a holiday without pizza? No wild parties, no DIY, no cooking on an open fire, no painting with fingers, brushes or any form of distribution mechanism, no making of films, no tapestry making or willow basket weaving, no crumbs, no animals unless they're called fluffy, and especially no animals if they look like a rat. Fang! Where's Fang? We had to leave him at home. No rat-like animals, Henry. Fang isn't a rat! I know, but he does look like one sometimes. Well, in a certain light. No moles, no snoots, no... Where are you going, Henry? To feed Fang. He'll starve without me there. Or had you forgotten that he needs feeding? It's all right, Henry. We've made sure you won't starve. <laughs> well, I'm going back anyway. I'm fed up with this holiday lark. We're not going home, Henry. At least not for two weeks. <laughs> it's in the contract. Everywhere, and not a snot bag in sight. <sighs> Do not pull the rope. I repeat. Out the con 
contract also covered the insurance, in case anything went wrong. Which means... It's holiday time! Huh? Huh? <laughs> 